Hello everyone, this is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you, yes, you, to the knowledge that will empower yourself. I just got one, I just got one thing to say. It's vital. Another thing. It's vital. It is vital to increase our vitality. And I just wanted to bring this up because um, I was reminded of this book that I was reading. Um... And even just like, even just how things are now with a lot of turbulence and a lot of people have it like feeling a lot, a lot of um, shifts in their energy, whether it's energy is getting low or the energy be energy is getting disrupted and they're not really fortifying their mind, body and spirit, which is what you should do um, in times of turbulence, in times of heightened stress. Right, and one of those things is increasing our vitality, and by increasing our vitality, we then strengthen our 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 health in a cellular level, and kind of reverse aging. So, one of the books that that changed my life a few years ago was called "The Power of Japanese Red Reishi," but this is more like the power of reishi in general, and. It says the real magical mushroom reverse biological aging and enhance immunity with the help of one's help of one of nature's most powerful medicinal mushrooms. And this is a great book. You should, you should definitely get it. Um, and there was one extract that I remember um, I remember reading and it's about healthy aging and vitality. So the ancients believed ancient Chinese people, they believed that reishi Ganderma, is useful for enhancing the vital energy so vitality is literally the vital energy within us and that actually connects to our mind body and spirit and reishi slash ganoderma is known as the herb of spiritual potency the herb of spiritual immortality and is completely tied to the mind and body so it in helps with increasing brain function and preventing forgetfulness so I mean, like, if you if you if you want to improve your brain function, reishi is definitely a good approach to take, um, and just even like refreshing your mind, body, and mind, body, and spirit, just empowering it. So like nourishing, nourishing, and nourishing your body, so that you can really function and not feel sluggish, um, and really enjoy your health. You know. Because and really like be able to be more functional in how you move and how you think as well. And um, it says, um, I remember it said in the text, it said the importance of retaining memory into old age could be related to the Taoist belief that sickness was caused by misconducts and that the patient had to remember the misconducts record them and then destroy the record. This belief placed a strong emphasis on memory in the maintenance of health and longevity. So like even even the, the Taoists, the Asian Asian Taoists, the people that re they they lived health. They lived longevity. Like they everything they did was for longevity. Hey hey Blue Bottle Love, how you doing? So yeah, everything they did was for longevity. And one thing that in today's society we don't really place enough emphasis on is the maintenance of health and longevity so again you know and that's that's due to mostly the pharmaceuticals and all the stuff like that everyone just wants a quick fix and everyone just um wants the cure wants the cure but no one wants to take preventative measures but now in the age we're in where it's not only the age of information it's the age of knowing so now we get into the to the stage of knowing that longevity is key right now we're getting to the stage where we know that if we don't get our health right it's going to affect every aspect of our life and that's why i say it's vital because the more energy that we have is the more we can direct it towards living a life that we actually want living a life that is purpose driven living a life where we can really um, or even producing the energy to do or to even think about and to move towards 
the life that we want because sometimes with low energy and low with a lot of stress there's a lot of people don't even give themselves the time to think because they they don't even they don't even think they can think because their their bodies tend their bodies just telling them distract distract yourself the the mind is telling them um don't just the, the mind is not telling them the right thing pretty much and it's like they don't give themselves time to bring that all together and put in, and bring it into control and uh one thing i wanted to share was as well is that everything is like begin everything that's vital starts with a pattern everything it starts with a, a habit and what i mean by that is we place it, um importance on things that we recognize is important and will be in a in, of a benefit we also attribute that in a negative way where we compromise our health due to past habits that are still habits and are still patterns that we recognize that are still patterns that we adopt but it's not serving us so you might know that you know you might know the occasional people that just they go to their shop they get their their their, their occasional cake or bagel knowing that they're trying to improve their health but they still get it anyway you know so and um, but that's based on a that's based on a pattern that's based on a habit that they was not willing um to disrupt even though deep down they may want to right so what if there was a way where you could have what you're already having but just make a healthier choice in order to transition out of that that um unserving habit and when it comes to vitality vitality links to like sexual health and brain health so i don't know if i don't i don't know if I, i'll probably get into, into another video but when it comes to energy like a lot of our the source of our energy sits at the base of our spine right and that's in our coccyx area it's like the the tailbone and what happens there is our vital force is there and it's called vital force so it's like that's where the energy the vital energy sits and we nourish that by nourishing our sexual health and our brain health because through our nervous system it's all connected it's connected from from bottom to top but if we're not nourishing the whole part of ourselves when that vital force within us that vital energy is not going to circulate in the right way so let's say if you drink um so what you do what you want to do is like you want to have the right foods the right tools in order to maintain your vitality to increase your vitality and that could be that could be in the form of movement yoga is good i like to do yoga where you, you like to move your hips you know like move your whole body have your get your body circulating you want to improve your circulation and as i mentioned before with vitality you want to increase your brain function you want to refresh your body and mind and for those people that if you're if you're from the uk like me you, you like to drink tea or coffee all the time and one thing that helps me is literally making a healthier choice of coffee so i actually have reishi infused organic coffee that i drink every day premium um and i also have it which has extra superfoods and herbs such as like this one's called supreme and this one has ginseng reishi and maca so those are all things where it not only helps with brain health but sexual health and just your overall mind body and spirit so when you when you when you consume it on a daily basis you're drinking for longevity you're not drinking for the destruction of your vitality you know what i mean so that's it's it's so key and like it also helps because a lot of things that hold this this helps this is how it helps like in terms of me just having that energy that i need for the day because let's say if it, you're you're working hard you're doing a lot you, you you're gonna need that, that that the extra boost and the extra boost where you don't get you don't get a crash you don't get a, a, any jitters or anything you get that smooth lasting energy so that this is something that i incorporate with just eating daily or with any of my daily rituals you know so that's something i encourage everyone to do i just want to read this quick um study 
on Reishi. So it says recent reports from the US United States indicate that inflammation plays a central role in the development of a variety of diseases such as Alzheimer's cardiovascular, and cardiovascular disease. This research has the propensity of linking historical uses of Reishi and promoting longevity with current Western scientific theory. The interesting connections are, number one, Reishi has been used for thousands of years to prevent memory loss in old age. Number two, Reishi has anti-inflammatory properties. Number three, there is a component of inflammation that is involved in the development of um, Alzheimer's disease. Number four, Alzheimer's disease appears to be improved in patients who take anti-inflammatories on a regular basis. So... What anti-inflammatories are you taking on a regular basis to manage your brain health and your physical health? What are you, what are you do? What what type of self care are you doing for yourself to increase your vitality and to to be a functional a functional person in the world that you live in in this planet that you're you living on? So that's something that's something that's something to think about, and. I'll leave, with the, I'll leave with this question. Who do you know that it is vital that they improve their health? Who do you know that it is vital for them to increase their vitality? Who do you know that it's vital for them to increase their brain function or even wants to? Who's willing to do that? Because the more we help ourselves, the more we can help others. That's how I... like. So I... I don't I don't improve my health just for me. I improve my health because someone it can it can help change my me being at an optimal level can help someone and raise them up to the to another to optimal level as well. Each one teach one, each one build each other up. And so we wanna we wanna be in a, in a world where everyone's building each other up, everyone is thriving together, striving to thrive, rather than just being in survival mode. And your he- if you, if your health is if there's no health there's no wealth if there's no health there is just a whole lot of imbalance and no progression so again who do you know that wants to increase their vitality you can click the link in the bio if you want to check this out or give me a D- uh, dm me for for more info on like even more info around health education or increasing your vitality and Adopting some healthy aging. Remember, I too is vital. Health is wealth. Take care of yourself. This is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Stay empowered and just remember the connection continues. Take care.